5,000 years after he was imprisoned by the Egyptian gods, Black Adam is freed from his earthly tomb, ready to unleash his unique form of justice on the modern world. This movie is supposed to be the big screen origin story for Black Adam character, and yet it's so frustratingly derivative of other superhero movies. It's a jumbled mess of a movie that grabs all too familiar components from other successful superhero movies and throws them randomly into this dull and noisy film, hoping something interesting separates out. It's apparently not enough to keep remaking the same Shrek-worthy origin stories. It seems that you also have to include a bunch of the same elements as well. The storytelling is murky as it's a basically drab slog through superhero cliches. This superhero origin story becomes a lifeless spectacle, a joyless glacially paced compilation of interchangeable scenes of people floating around in their goofy superhero outfits tossing cliché dialogue and CG lightning bolts, and punching each other into buildings. The central character himself is actually interesting, as he's less a conventional superhero than a thorny anti-hero, and a little thematic tension in these road exercises would be much welcome. Unfortunately, the movie never bothers exploring it beyond the most obvious surface reading. Any mythic qualities the character has are drowned out by the buckets of sloppy mayhem. The bland performance by Dwayne Johnson doesn't help either, as he's delivering every line in the same exhausting monotone. Johnson is at his most comfortable, making hard faces at the camera and flexing his eyebrows in extreme close-up. Unfortunately, grappling with several millennia worth of grief or arguing for the self-governance of his people is not really his thing. The movie knows that certain fights and confrontations and villains and MacGuffins needed to be included, but failed to effectively establish mood or stakes. There's a lot of vague references to power, destiny, and fate, but there's absolutely nothing of consequence. There's a stubborn reluctance to flesh out any characters beyond an adjective or two. There's this criminal organization called Intergang, but you will learn almost nothing about these characters or organizations. Who are they, what they do, and what do they want? The movie doesn't bother to ask any of these questions, let alone try to answer them. Then there's a superhero group called the Justice Society of America that's introduced with such minimal setup here. This very much feels like a counterfeit version of the Avengers or even X-Men. To be fair, the Justice Society has been around for decades and its characters often preceded later Marvel characters with similar traits, but it nevertheless contributes to the knockoff vibe of it all to run down the Justice Society members. This movie feels both rushed and overlong as it's relentless but stubbornly monotonous. There is not a single quiet moment of meaning or introspection in this film, and there's no thought or recognizable humanity. Jokes are delivered with such haste, it might take a moment to acknowledge those moments were meant to be funny. The editing is so quick and perfunctory as there's no wit, no thrill, and no slickness to the action. There's of course the big and epic fight scene, but as has become the norm, the effects are phony and weightless, even for this sort of things, and thus the stakes are non-existent. Overall, this movie is simply a disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all.